All right, what's up guys? It is Thursday morning. Just got done with a 4.30 a.m. arm workout, which I must say it's easier to get up and do arms than it is to do legs. Uh, but just absolutely crushed it uh, in the gym this morning as I'm sure you just saw in the footage. Um, meetings kind of throughout the rest of today. Just got back from Philadelphia last night and uh, really just like clockwork now on this challenge. We're into day 39 and I feel like these things have been cemented as habits. Um, you know, unconsciously making sure I'm, I'm getting them done every day. And so that's, I think the whole point of the challenge is to make it to where these things are just boom, 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 getting done to where you don't even have to think about it. I'm excited for next week. We'll be headed to Salt Lake City. So it'll be a new week, um, new city, and uh, really enjoying being able to take this challenge on the road um, and add that layer of complexity, add that layer um, of just intensity in order to get all this stuff done. But uh, with that, guys, uh, it's day 39. Got another workout in this uh, afternoon and um, got to rock this thing out and looking quite forward to it. If the enemy can introduce you to something little, just to get you to make this little choice, what he knows is you'll probably make that choice again. And you'll probably make that choice again. And so think about, you know, what are some little choices that we make, some little bad choices that we make. The choice to lie to your parents, right? So that would be just lying to your parents. Not a big deal, right? Like, yeah, I wasn't where I said I was, but you know, I was, I was being safe. I'm, I'm fine. I'm good. It's just a little choice, right? And let's say the choice to drink, drink alcohol. Because, I mean, everybody else was at the place where I at. They were all drinking. So yeah, I just, just drank a little. Not a big deal. It's just a little, little choice that I made. How about the choice to smoke a little weed? Just, I'm just smoking a little weed, right? It's not a big deal. It's just a little choice. How about the choice to watch porn? No big deal, right? Like, I'm not hurting anybody by watching pornography. I'm all by myself. No big deal, right? You make another bad decision, which creates another habit, which creates another identity the way you see yourself. And God still loves you. But now you can't separate God's love and God's grace because you're identifying yourself by the chain and not by who you are, which is a son or daughter of God. And so what I want to do is let's bring up one of you. Who wants to come up and help me with this example? You want to come up? Here, come up. You can, you can help me next. You can help me next. All right. We're good. All right. What the enemy does is it convince, he convinces you that these little choices don't matter. Right. That it's just, it's just one drink. It's just one cigarette. It's just looking at a little porn. It's just lying to my, it's just a little lie to my parents. But then those choices become habits and those habits become automatic. And now you define yourself by the chain and who you're chained to, which is the enemy. So th think about the reality, like if, if I'm the enemy and if I would have come at you with this big chain, you would have probably ran. But when I come at you with just a little choice, no big deal. But as those choices added up, became habits, became habits, became your identity, now you're stuck. Let's fast forward to your 17. Let's say now you're 25. Wow. 25. <laughs> super, you're super, super old and you're 25. And now you're about to get married, right? About to get married. And so, so you want to go, you know, love your wife. So, so go over there and love your wife. But I'm pulling you back over here because I've got you trapped by all those little choices you made at 14 and at 15, and at 16, and at 17. <laughs> and that's the thing. Like, like literally what he just said, I've never cheated on my wife, though. I've never cheated on my wife, though, but I looked at porn when I was 14. And I lied to my parents when I was 15. And I looked at more porn when, porn when I was you know, 18. And I looked at porn last, last night, but I'm telling my wife I love her. So these things, again, 
like <laughs> what he just said is a perfect, perfect example because what he was saying was this right here. Like, but I've never, I've never done something that big. And that's how the enemy gets you. He doesn't get you with the big stuff. He gets you with these tiny little choices. And those tiny little choices developed over time create habits and create your identity. One big choice in your life can literally break, break free all of the other bad ones that you've ever made. And so this is that big choice, right? So we're going to put this big choice, and that is that we're going to follow God. So you're God. You good being God? Yeah, I'm good. For the time being? All right, so if you can hold on to him. So you make this one choice that, that I'm going to follow God. And when you choose to follow God, you break free of those chains that have you tied and have your identity tied to the enemy. Making the choice to follow God doesn't mean that those things just magically erase from your history. Because you can see here, like this is, it's the same chain that was attached to the enemy is the same chain that's now attached to God. But what the enemy used... Like in that example, when he went to go marry his wife and I pulled him back, what the enemy used to pull you down, God will use that exact same chain to lead you and to direct you and to guide you. And in that process, he'll give you hope and he'll give you peace and he'll give you joy. How many of you today want to make a change? You were the first. You were the first hand I saw, so you get the big one. This is good for you. You get the you get the big one. All right. And so, what I want you guys to remember when you when you look at these things, and you can do with it what you please. You want to make a change? You sure? How about you? You good? Okay. So, in order to make a change, just like those little links that you have in your hand right now, it's just a choice. And it's the easiest choice you could ever make. But it's also the most powerful. Because just like in that example, that, that one choice to say, I'm going to follow God, broke the chain completely from the enemy. Amen. And in that moment, you literally become a completely new person. Amen. But guys, I'm so proud of you guys for making this decision. You have no idea what it means right now. But what I would love to do is to be able to connect with you guys and have further conversations with you. So if you have Instagram, which all of you have, um, you can find me at Tyler Jack Harris. And send me a DM. I promise you I'll respond. And I'd love to talk to you about anything that you're going through. Um, no matter what it is. Uh, and I promise I'll be there to support you. I'll send you some videos uh, that I think will really, really, really encourage you. And, um, and yeah, guys, I'm just super, super, super proud, super honored to be here. And I'm super glad that you guys showed up today. Uh, this is extremely special for me and uh, I hope it was for you as well. So with that, guys, we're done for the day. We are here in Little River, North Carolina. I uh, just got done preaching to a group of these awesome kids right here. <laughs> and uh, just having a good time out here and uh, just sharing uh, the message of God and what he's doing in, in my life and what he can do in others. And now they're dancing. Let's get some of that. Let's get some of that footage. <laughs> oh, man. We're we'll going to be headed back to Greenville, South Carolina soon. Then we're headed out to Salt Lake City, uh, Utah tomorrow for another week of traveling. Uh, got a fun day planned next week, so can't wait for you guys to see that uh, either in this week's or next week's vlog. Uh, but it's going to be an exciting one with a special, special guest.
guys, we are uh, in the middle of the second session of making calls. And uh, we said how many? Five initial briefings so far? Yes. Five initial uh, meetings so far for uh, tomorrow and the next day. But uh, I promise you, by the end of today, we will schedule, what do you think, nine more? Let's see if we can get nine more. Let's see if we can get 10 more. Let's go ahead and make it around 10. And uh, we'll come and recap at the end of this and see if we'll make it happen. All right, guys, so uh, we're gonna wrap up this week's vlog, but man, we're gonna save some really, really, really good footage for next week. So I highly encourage you guys to turn the post notifications on, because it's gonna be good, because I'm getting to this point, I'm at day, today's day 46, and uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, day 45 really sucked, like really, really sucked. The day, it was a great day, um, woke up, I was training a new agent. We had nine different meetings all across Salt Lake, kind of all over about three different counties. But man, I got out of that meeting, or got out of that day of meetings, went and uh, worked out legs. Just a brutal, brutal leg workout, which you guys will see in the next episode. Went to dinner, didn't get home, or didn't get to the hotel till like 11, 11.30. Then still had to go get the second workout in outside. It was like 35 degrees and windy. Had to go walk for 45 minutes. And uh, I was just freaking tired. Just like really, really, really burnt out. But uh, got it done. And uh, my recap video last night, I literally just like held my phone up and I was like, some days just suck. And this is one of those days. But, you know, really that's the whole that's really the lesson of this challenge is that, you know, some days are going to be great. Some days you're going to feel like you're the king of the world on this challenge, you know, putting all this extra effort in. And some days you're going to feel like just death. But on those days when it does suck and on those days that you do feel just broken, you still get the stuff done that you need to get done. And you honor your word when you say you're going to do these things, you get them done. No matter how you feel, no matter how sore you are, no matter how tired you are, if you said you're going to do something, you do something. And, um, and it's, such a, it's such a mental battle. But there's so many people that I see doing this challenge that, you know, they just quit in that moment. And they just, they bail. And that that's that's uh that's a problem because the same excuses that you're using in those moments i promise you are the same excuses you're using in every other area of your life where you're falling short when you don't feel like making those last 10 20 30 phone calls when you don't feel like you know playing with your daughter because you're just mentally just exhausted and it's been a long day and you just go veg out on the couch like it's the same things and so the parallels are are huge and it's in these moments like right now man like like crazy workout last night just got in an awesome workout which you guys will see next week here with uh sean whalen and as we were walking out, I was telling Pabs, I was like, man, my legs feel like they're just like slowly ripping from my hips right now. Um, it's in those moments where you figure out like what you're truly capable of. It's in those moments when you figure out, you know, that you can do anything if you just stick with it and if you just hang in there. And so that's where I'm at right now. Um, to be honest with you, I'm going back to the hotel now and I'm going to take a nap. Um, so many people uh, over the last week have been asking me, you know, are you getting enough sleep, man? Are you getting enough rest? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I catch up on the weekend, but it's just not true. I haven't been getting enough sleep, and I know that. Um, and that's something that I'm really going to try to work on in these next 30 days, these last 30 days. Um, because it's just as important as the work you're putting in is making sure that you're getting adequate rest. So I'm going to go back and take a nap and uh, I plan on shutting my eyes and just uh, sleeping until they open. I'm not even going to set an alarm or anything, but, um, you know, at the end of the day, 
this challenge has been such an expansive, such a just incredible experience. And speaking of incredible experience, dude, you got to see this. Like this view right now, my time in Salt Lake over the last few days, I've been wondering like, how long do you have to live here until you like stop noticing how absolutely freaking beautiful this place is. Like these mountains, like 360, like mountains everywhere you look. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful area. Uh, and I just, man, I love it. I don't know if I would love it midwinter, but uh, it's beautiful out here. So uh, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy this episode of the vlog. But man, stay tuned for next week because next week is going to be an awesome, awesome episode from last night's workout into today. We're going to do some fun stuff today with Sean. Uh, I've got a red eye flight at 1215 in the morning, tomorrow morning, tonight, whatever you want to call it. Um, straight into, um, dude, I don't even know where this, I, t I put the wrong address in my, uh, you GPS. Really I really did. Like we're going to the Dimple Dell Regional Park and I was trying to go to my hotel. This makes so much sense now why we're completely lost. But, um, 12, 15 AM red eye flight. I get back to Greenville, South Carolina at like nine in the morning. I got to go straight to the office, straight into a meeting that I'll be late for, straight into our boot camp training <laughs> that starts at 3 p.m., which doesn't end until like 11 o'clock tomorrow night, straight into uh, boot camp training Saturday, which is 7 in the morning to 7 p.m., straight training into a dinner, into 7 a.m. on Sunday, which is like three-fourths of the day Sunday. So, you know, sometimes it just doesn't stop. But uh, it's in those moments where you realize you're tougher than you think you are. So I'm going to get off of here and figure out where in the heck we are. Try to get back to this hotel so I don't just like pull over and take a nap on the side of the road. But um, appreciate you guys joining us on this journey. We've got a month left. We're going to make the absolute most of it.